patience, my son. This too shall pass. There have been a half dozen before him. Good morning, Sir Walter. Is the Queen still under canopy? How would I know? The Earl is here and will see her. Tell him to hurry if he wishes to find her in bed. She is dressed, Captain, and eagerly waiting for my lord. The guard of honor on whose authority? What is this? Armor brought by my lord Essex. For whom? I do not know, Sir Walter. Am I mistaken, or is this very like your own, Sir Walter? My pattern, too. In styling. He means to outshine you, perhaps. Master Bacon, what is all this? I fear they are Greeks, Sir Walter, bearing gifts. To hell with Greeks. It comes in bales. Who's to wear this? Who's it for? Their name is Legion. Sir Walter. You're more magnificent than I'd imagined. News came to me of your silver while I lay ill, and I swear it cured me. I'm touched to think that I've been the means of your recovery, my lord. You should have heard the compliments I've heard paid you. The world has been outdone, they said. The moon, out moon. You needn't trouble to repeat them. No, the queen herself has admired it, the design, the workmanship. This is what we've needed, I said to myself. More silver everywhere, oceans of silver. Sir Walter has set the style the world will follow. <laughs> Well, well, have your laugh. I've had mine, for I've made you envious. I misunderstood you. I thought you put on your silver to please our queen. I see I was mistaken. Take all this for yourself, then. The men shall have others, some duller color. I have borne much from you, my lord of Essex, out of regard for the queen. But by my honor, sir... Sir Walter, there is a matter I want to discuss. I with. will not tolerate this. My lord of Essex is going to the queen. Do you presume to protect me, Master Secretary? I protect you both, and our mistress. There can be no quarreling here. Yeah. That's very true. Let us go. Go! Follow your bright example. Good morning, my lord. Penelope, have I kept the queen waiting? Would I acknowledge that her majesty would wait for you? Then I commend myself to your discretion. May I have one moment, my lord? As many as you like. What is it? Do you love the queen? Is that a fair question? An honest question. Then I will answer honestly. Yes, I do. Dearly? Dearly, yes. Why do you ask me this? Because I am afraid. I've heard her, when she thought she was alone, walk up and down the room through the night, cursing you. My lord, you anger her too much. Is not this common among lovers? No. I have never cursed you. But if I were your lover, you would. So be thankful that I'm not. we met, it was, as I remember. Ill met by moonlight, sir. Well met by day, my queen. I've hardly hoped to see you again, my lord of Essex, after what was vowed forever when you left. You were unkind to remind me. I think I also used the word forever and meant it as much, at least. Therefore, no apology. Only, just now, Penelope's lips look the softer for kissing. She's a foolish child. Oh, these children have their little ways. Now, must we begin with charges and counter charges when you know full Do I well? indeed? You've been gone eight weeks. That's a long time at court. You forget that I must live and breathe whether I see you or not. And there are other men all fully equipped for loving and being loved. You find Penelope charming. As for me, there's always Mount Joy or Sir Walter the Handsome, Sir Walter the Silver-Plated. You wear no more silver at your door. What have you done? <laughs> Come tell me I knew this silver would draw fire. What happened? Nothing. Tell me, tell me. Well, the fashion has gone out. I merely pointed out to him that while his cloak spread in the mud for you to step on brought about his rise, his silver armor in the mud might uh, bring a fall. He has gone to change. You shall not be allowed to do this to him. You shall not be allowed to mock me, my queen. Mm. 
<laughs> Isn't it strange? A one man's kiss can grow to be like any other's. Or a woman's like any woman's. Not yours for me. No, not mine for you, you double-tongued seductress. You bitch of brass. <laughs> silver, my dear. Let me be a bitch of silver. <laughs> Come back someday when I'm in the mood. What's today? Thursday. Try next Wednesday. Or any Wednesday later on in the summer. Any summer will do. Are you still here? If I could walk out that door. It's not locked. No, I'd only come back. Why did you let it be known that I'd not be admitted here? I don't know. I may have meant it at the time. I think I have a demon, and you're it. If ever a mocking devil tortured a woman, you're my devil and torture me. Go. I will not. Oh, come to me, my Essex. <laughs> Let us be kind for a moment. I will be kind. You need not be. You're young and strangely sweet. My heart goes out to you wherever you are. And something in me has drawn you. But the same thing that draws us together hurts and blinds.